I should know just to film everything that I do. It's still not clicking in my head. Hi there, Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is a weekly vlog. Now here's the thing, I don't know how to start a vlog because I don't know I'm making a vlog until the week is over and I've done a bunch of these things. It's the truth. I don't know when to start a vlog or when to end a vlog. I'm just like, okay, a video has to come out. I guess now is a good time to end the vlog. This is the beginning of the vlog because I don't think I filmed one yet. And I think I'm starting off on a Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday when uh, the weekly vlog started. On Tuesday, I headed to Fabricland because I needed to buy some bias tape for a project that I finished but then I realized I actually needed this for, so I picked up some of that. And then I also had to pick up more of this stuff. I, there's probably a technical term, but I don't really know what it is. It's like handles, usually handles that I use to make tote bags and, and stuff like that. And then while I was in Welland, I headed to my favorite Valley Village and uh, did a little bit of shopping. Then later on on Tuesday, I actually hung out with my friend Lily and we did some roller skating. I haven't roller skated in, I think since 2020. You remember when everyone was really into roller skating and everyone bought roller skates? Well, I actually had a pair before that craze happened, but they were black and my sister wanted them. So I gave them to my sister and then I ended up picking these shiny pink ones up, which are super cute. I can't get up it. <laughs> You good? Ah! No! <laughs> I almost went up the other way. I did it. Okay, it is Wednesday. I just filmed two other videos wearing this exact outfit and I'm like, I don't care anymore. Today, I am sore from roller skating yesterday, which is good though. I'm not as sore as I thought I would be. And I forgot that I'm okay at roller skating. I thought it would take me a little bit to get back into it, but uh, I'm actually pretty okay at it. So I definitely wanna do more of that in the summer. And my friend Lily is like so on board with that, which is great. It's great having someone that like wants to do the same activities as you. Cause I'm that person that I won't do it alone. Anywho, it's Wednesday. What did I do yesterday? Yesterday, I went to Fabricland, like you saw. What did I buy from Fabricland? I bought some of this. The other day I went thrifting, which I'm gonna do a thrift haul at the end of this vlog. I I didn't think I was gonna go thrifting and then I ended up going thrifting because I wanted to go to Lens Mills to get some things. And then I'm like, well, we're here. Let's go find a thrift store because I have some time. And then I, I spent a little bit of money and bought some more things, which I didn't need to buy, but they were all really cute. And I know I would never find them again. So I bought them and here we are. One of those things was this fanny pack, the perfect size. It has all these really cute pockets. It has the zipper. Are you kidding me? Because if you watch my last sewing video, which not a lot of people watched, that's fine. Sewing might not be your thing. But for anybody who likes watching my crochet content, I think the sewing content would be right up your alley because I do it the same way that I do my crocheting content where, you know, I start off telling you my project, showing you the supplies for the project, and then I start working on it and I kind of, you know, disasters. It's not a tutorial. It's just me making something. And then, you know, filling you in on how the project's going and in the end showing you the project. So pretty much my sewing content and my crochet content are exactly the same format of like filming wise. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. I made this cute little fanny pack, adorable. The thing was is that it was a little bit too small. The whole reason why I went out last Saturday was to get more supplies. And then I ended up making this one, which is a lot bigger. Had to get a new strap. I had to get some thread for it. I think that was pretty much it that I had to buy. I made a new one. And then there's this one. I told my friend Lily she could have it because she saw it. She's like, oh my goodness, I love it. It's so cute. The only thing is, is that I harvested the buckle and put it on uh, my new one. So I just need to buy a buckle for her to um, finish this guy up. I could not find the perfect fanny pack anywhere. So I decided to make one. And then of course, once I make one, I find one. It was $4. $4. Do you know how much that would have saved me in sewing supplies? I ended up going to Fabricland the other day because the strap of this is just isn't long enough for me. It kind of does this. I just don't really like it this high up. I like it a little bit lower. I like to adjust it. So if I do want it high up, I can. But if I have it lower, I can also do that. So I ended up going and buying some of this. I think it's the same width. It's close enough. The one on here is just a little bit smaller. It's fine. So I will be swapping one of these out. So that should be fun to figure that out. And then I bought some good old handy dandy bias tape. Funny thing is, is that I have a ton of bias tape. It's in here, but I don't have brown. I either have white 
or I have black or I have an off-white. I needed to buy this because the seams, they're not so pretty. So I wanted to buy some bias tape and sew the seams up. On Friday, I ended up going to a garden center with my dad. He was looking for some like trellises for the house, something like that. So, you know, I decided to do a little bit of vlogging on some plants that are also really expensive and that I cannot afford. I have one plant that I've uh, kept pretty, pretty well alive for over the past year. It's doing pretty good. Then on Saturday, me and my sister did a huge thrift thrifting thing. So I thought I would just show you a little bit of footage here of what I did on Saturday. Now this is actually going to be its own thrift haul video next week. And then I went back to Fabricland. Yep, went up right back to Fabricland because I needed some more things. I, I ran out of black thread. I should know better. I should just stock up on black and white thread, but I never do. And then I run out. Anywho, had to uh, pick up some more bias tape because the bias tape that I bought previously on Tuesday wasn't the right size. And then I wanted to look at some of the fabric. I oh, I love this pie one. It was so cute. Absolutely love this one. But I just didn't have a project for it, so I didn't buy it. But I kind of wish I did. And then, of course, we headed over to Michael's. That's a nice part. Look at that. Look at that storage. I want to get one of these, but they're like 50 bucks. And then of course, you know, ended up in the yarn section, which putting it out there, I actually had to buy yarn. Usually I just end up at Michael's and then buy yarn that I don't need, but I needed to go to Michael's to buy certain yarn colors. These the two things. I'm not gonna have. I need to get some more Bernat. See, they got the pound of love. Oh. Good. good for sweaters. You get a lot in it. Yeah, that's the one I have. That's what I'm using for the car. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, I don't know, but I- Look at the, they, they changed the font. Look at the font. Oh. Show the viewers the font. I like that font. That's so pretty. I actually really and like I really like this color. I just wish it wasn't as brown. I wish it was more black. That's so neat. Oh, I don't know what I would make out of it. That's the problem. Like, what would I use this for? It's so pretty though. It kind of reminds me of like old school roll-ups. Yeah. You know? Oh, I've never seen the, this brand here. They've never had this That's brand That's why we here. had Mons Mills half the time because they didn't have this brand. Look at this stuff though. It's so bubblegum. That's like so Barbie. Maybe I should have done a Barbie video, but I don't know what I would make. But that would be the yarn I would definitely use. I ended up buying these gray yarns at Michael's. I mean, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I don't really gravitate towards gray colors. I'm very colorful, you know, like like that right there. So I didn't have any in my stash. And funny enough, my sister also didn't have gray in stash. Well, she had a type of gray, but it was a different brand. And because I'm making this tapestry project, which you'll see eventually, but I needed gray and I only needed like a little bit of it. So unfortunately my sister didn't have any. I needed the impeccable brand because the rest of my project is also gonna be impeccable plus Bernat, but the Bernat is so close to impeccable that I just deem it as the same thing. And then I also just picked this up. Every three months, I usually just pick up a new one of these depending on what season. It's summer, so I wanted to pick up one that had a little bit of summer stuff, but it also has the fall, summer's there, has some spring, then it kind of has like the cute Christmas and stuff. This is a little bit more expensive and you can't use coupons on this unfortunately, but uh, uh, you know, I saw it, so I bought it. So we just got out of the estate sale and like, we got there late too. We got there like an hour and a half after it started. And I thought all the good stuff was gonna be gone. But this is what my sister found. Sock forms for crocheting and knitting socks. My sister got, and there's like thingies in there for sewing. I don't know what any of it means. Yeah. She, it matters to her. This little booklet belongs to something that I bought. And then this is just a book, you know, for sewing machine that I may or may not eventually have. And then I found this Elena sewing machine, which is different than the Elena sewing machine I have. I'll show you when I get home. And then I found this retro fan, which I've been looking for forever for $8. Cause you saw one of the value really just I did, what? it was 20 bucks. And then I found some fabric, which I will also show once I get home. But all of this was $30. All right, and now we are back present day. It is now Monday, the following Monday. So it's been a whole entire week and I did more things than I thought I was gonna do. So 
here we are. I would have started this vlog on the Saturday prior because me and my sister did go thrifting and to Lens Mills and everything like that. But here's the thing. I didn't know I was making a vlog at the time. I didn't film anything. By this point in my YouTube career, I should know just to film everything that I do. It's still not clicking in my head. Like I mentioned, I believe on the Wednesday, I, or Tuesday, one of the two days, I did go thrifting. I just, I don't want to make this whole thing like a big thrift haul, but I did thrift some things and I was not planning on thrifting. That was the problem is that I was not planning on thrifting. I was planning on going thrifting, maybe finding one or two things and making like a TikTok about it. So I filmed, you know, in the TikTok aspect ratio, which is what, like nine by 16, because I did find some pretty cool things. I'll just do like a quick little speed round of things that I thrifted because here's the thing. Last Saturday in the vlog, which I showed a little bit of, I did a huge summer thrift haul, like basically thrifting for the summer. You're gonna have a big thrift haul on Sunday, I believe, yeah, because it's video comes out Wednesday. So on Sunday, there's going to be a big summer thrift haul. I'm just going to kind of speed around what I found because I think what I found was pretty good on the Saturday before, if that makes sense. Might be a little bit confused of where this thrift haul stuff is coming from because I kind of confused myself saying it and while editing, I'm like, is people going to understand this? So the thrifting you saw in this vlog was on Saturday the 17th. This one is going to be a huge summer thrift haul. And then this haul that I'm currently doing is the thrifting that I did on Saturday, June the 10th. 10th, which I didn't film because I didn't think I was actually gonna find anything and then I found some stuff so this is the stuff. I found this. It is a 2023 Stranger Things calendar. There's still half of the year left that I can use this calendar for and the artwork is pretty cool so I mean I could just take the artwork out and like make a collage or something with it. So the calendar is still good for half the year which I will use it for and then when I'm done Maybe I'll use it for something. It was still wrapped up. Nobody used it. I feel like this was a Christmas gift. They forgot about it. And then when they realized I didn't use it for half the year, they donated it. I think it was like $1.99. Then the one thrift store I went to, I found a few fabric things. This yellow bed sheet, it was $3.99. I actually have the blue version of this. So I'm like, oh, I really like the blue version. Let me pick this yellow one up. And then I also found this here. Look how cute these little kittens are. It was $5.99. Really? I paid $5.99 for this? That's pretty expensive for a pillowcase. This was definitely handmade. You know, somebody made it at home just by the way that it, it was. It, it also could have been like someone's first sewing project. So I'll give them that. It's pretty good. I think I might make a tote bag or something out of it. If there was two, probably pillowcases. But because there's one and this fabric is like really heavy duty, I think I'm going to make this into like a cute little tote bag. And then the other thing I found there, which I can't believe it was there. This here has all these wildlife animals on it. And at the very bottom, it says 1989, which was the year that I was born. So I had to buy it. It was $4.99, pretty good price. And I think it's a calendar because there's 12 animals every six months. So like the first month, the sixth month, and the last month are a non-bird animal. The rest of them are birds. This is January as a fox. And then you have birds, 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 birds. July is the deer. And then birds, 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 birds. And then December is this, I believe it's a hare, rabbit hare, you know? I don't know who made it. Maybe they made one for each month. So like maybe in January, they made this. February, they made that. I'm not 100% sure, but I thought it was pretty cool. And then the other thrift store I went to, I actually found this plate here. Now this plate holder, you might have seen from one of my past vlogs is that I thrifted this because when I find cute little plates like this, I can put them in here and then I can hang it up. It is called Mischief with the Hat Box and it's 1990. Little kittens getting into mischief like this one. That one's my favorite. And then at that same thrift store, I have to show you what I found. I haven't even been open and they're for the N64. So, you know, when I find things like the N64 or GameCube stuff, I, I pick them up and they were originally at, I believe this is like a GameStop or something. I Originally $20 and I got them for $2 each. My sister would always use the red controller. I would always use the blue controller, but I always wanted a yellow controller and I have one. In the last like me sitting down and kind of going through things, I believe that was either Tuesday or Wednesday. I had high hopes of me finishing some sewing projects. Well, here's the thing. So I wanted to like get some sewing stuff done. I ended up cleaning the garage with my dad and it's still not done. When I sat down and I filmed and I had high hopes for doing stuff on the Wednesday, like literally right after I finished filming, I went into the garage and spent like four hours helping my dad clean it up. And then the day after that, I think I was still doing the same thing. So I didn't have any time to do any sewing. And then by the time I'm like, I'm going to get some sewing done, I realized the bias tape was too small. And then on Saturday when we did the thrifting and everything, I ended up stopping at a fabric plant and I bought the bias tape that I needed. 
problem. I don't know where I put it. I have no idea. I bought bias tape, I bought a little clippy thing, and I ended up buying some thread, some black thread because I didn't have any. And I found the black thread. Everything else, no idea. I don't know where the bias tape went. I don't know where the clippy thing went. I don't know where it went because yesterday I was going to sit down, I was going to do some sewing, I was going to get it done. It's just vanished. I bet it's going to show up now. Now that I'm done with the vlog and I was going to show you my sewing process, well that's not happening now because I don't know where it is. So that's something that I'm going to have to finish eventually. Sunday, we went to an estate sale. It was weird. It was like they took all the contents of a house and they just put it in this garage. And it was set up really nice. It was like set up like a rummage sale. So they had a bunch of tables, which was quite nice. But I do like looking through people's houses when they get to go to estate sales. That's the fun thing. But I did show you what my sister got and what I got, but I can just show you in a little bit more detail of what I found at the estate sale. Found this vintage fan that I have been looking for forever. It is a three speed fan and the fan actually moves. I tested it. It works fine. I love it. The only thing is, is that I actually like sleeping with the fan on because I like the hum of the fan. This one's really quiet. This vintage fan that is probably 30 years old is like super quiet. It's super quiet but also it works amazing. Like you turn it on three and it's like you're standing in front of like an air conditioning. Like it's just, it works really great. The other thing that I bought was just these. I've always wanted to own them. They are actually patterns that you can buy. I think a meter of it and it comes with this and you just cut them out. You make a little stuffed animal and they're Halloween themed. They also give you all the instructions to make it. The only thing it doesn't come with is the stuffing. So I got two cats that are Halloween themed and then I bought this one because I thought of my sister. In the end, you're gonna get this little pumpkin teddy bear. So I feel like I'm probably gonna do a video where I make these, but a little bit closer to the fall time. So I told my sister that I would make her this because she loves Halloween just as much as I do. Probably more. I love Halloween so much. I'm already over summer. I just want fall to come. I wasn't able to get a video of this machine because I already put it away. I took photos of it and then I put it away and it's so heavy that I just, they were too heavy to bring back in the house is what I'm trying to say. So here's the photo of the new Elena machine that I got. And I believe this one is a little bit older than my previous one. Also, what we did find out about this machine is that it does work, but unfortunately, what is it? 220 voltage, which is like European voltage. And it won't run properly in North America because it's not getting enough power. So I just need to buy a little power converter, which you can buy. They sell my Canadian tire. So I need to buy one for that. That. The other machine that I have, which is on the right, this is the one that I found way back in November. It is set up for North American wattage and voltage and stuff like that. So that one works. It just, I haven't cleaned it and I haven't really used it yet. So I want these to get repaired and just fixed up a little bit because they're amazing machines. Like they're so beautiful. I did a lot of stuff last week that I wasn't expecting to do and I found a lot of great things, especially at that estate sale. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, of course, crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that's it. See y'all have a good day now.